and before long, they appear. Orchid bees, in all shapes and colors. In Panama alone, there are more than 50 species of orchid bees. They pollinate exotic fruits like tree tomatoes and vanilla. But these bees have come for a different purpose. Male orchid bees collect scent from the paper with their forelegs and rub it into specially designed pouches in their hind legs. By mixing several fragrances together, each species designs its own distinct perfume. And during mating season, each male selects one particular tree and begins his mating ceremony. He perches on the side of the tree and disperses the perfume from his hind legs. If the conditions are right, he might attract a female. Collecting the odors is a way that a male can say exactly how good he has performed. He can't pretend he did more. He can't pretend he's bigger than he is or he's smarter than he is. He's exactly the worth of the odor he's carrying in his leg. And it's a beautiful system. A female can judge what male really she wants to mate with just on that. And if the perfume isn't good enough, it means the male has to collect some more odors. The baits attract many species, among them the biggest of all orchid bees in Panama, Ulima bombiformis. A good two inches long, these bees are known to pollinate Brazil nuts. After 35 years in the field, David can tell more than 250 species apart simply by looking at them. And the results of his long-term study are surprising. I've been looking at this in three big forest preserves in Panama. Nothing's going down. They're not going down in number. So bees are either not changing or they're getting more numerous. They're not more species, they're just more individuals. They're more of them. So something is happening that favors bees and they're actually either surviving better or getting fed more or reproducing more. But it's an unmistakable trend and I've looked at it for 35 years. I know it. 